With just over two weeks until midterm elections, President Bush jumped in on a major issue for our nation's seniors. Today, the president announced a plan to speed up the process it takes for a name brand drug to have a less expensive generic counterpart. The president wants to limit the number of times a drug company can sue to protect patents on name brand medication. Bush says the drug companies have abused the system and it's resulted in higher prices. Democrats say the proposal is a political ploy to win over the senior vote. Now an aid on your side consumer watch. You won't have to guess what's organic and what's not on grocery store shelves anymore. Today, the U.S. Department of Agriculture's new organic food labels started appearing in stores. According to the USDA, if you see 100% organic, it means just that. And for the first time, the USDA has a definition of organic. It's defined as being produced with no synthetics, pesticides, antibiotics, or hormones. You may have seen those scary decorative contact lenses on the market for Halloween, but you might want to think twice before wearing them. The FDA is halting the importation of the lenses because they could cause blindness. According to the FDA, the contacts have caused corneal ulcers, which can lead to vision loss. FDA officials warn people not to wear any contacts that aren't prescribed and fitted by a professional. If you're planning to ride Tampa's new streetcar system, be prepared for some delays. The streetcars are running at 15 to 20 minute intervals on a 2.3 mile route, but because the system uses a single track, passengers are delayed when streetcars meet. Mistimed traffic lights and some faulty sensors are also causing some delays. But even with the holdups, passengers riding today didn't seem to mind. The $32 million system runs from Ybor City to the Channel Side District in front of the Marriott Hotel. One-way fare is $1.25. And if they were on that trolley car today, they had a pretty nice day in the sunshine to enjoy it, Steve. It was, uh, guys. This weekend was fantastic. 85 degrees, a recorded high temperature. Hey, take a look at this. Photographer Jim Webb picking up these pictures earlier on today. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. And this is actually a funnel cloud that was trying to form and then dissipated. He followed that funnel cloud while flying over the Bay Area in Eagle 8 earlier on today. And eventually this video just shows that the thing gone, dissipating. But the showers and thunderstorms were out there this afternoon. By the way, there's 40 days left in hurricane season, and today the tropics are quiet, and that's okay with us. Showers continue pretty much on the east coast tonight, but these moved west to east across the Bay Area, across the central part of the state into Polk County, and eventually some severe weather earlier on this afternoon across parts of Brevard County. In terms of rainfall today, the dark blue areas focus on those around the Lutes area earlier today, Hunter's Green, central part of Pinellas County, St. Pete Clearwater Airport getting almost an inch of rain today, isolated but really dumping the showers. At 7 a.m., 72 degrees at noon, 82 degrees, a warm and humid day. It's 76 now with a dew point of 73. You can see the current temperature is 77 in St. Pete, 74 in Clearwater. Back to the west, showers and thunderstorms been fairly active across the lower south for today and to some severe weather in south Georgia, the northern part of Florida, closer to this frontal boundary that will stay to the north. We'll stay in this warm sector here, warm and humid conditions, cooler conditions, another front on the horizon, but our weather's not going to change too much. The thunderstorms will be about 20% in the forecast over the next couple of days. To the north, snow is falling. Western North North Dakota at this point, the UP of Michigan, also sections of Wisconsin, fairly chilly up north. 72 to start the day, mild for this time of year, 87 in the afternoon with scattered rain, maybe a thunderstorm. Seas around two feet, winds variable, but watch for that sea breeze developing west to southwest in the afternoon. The tides at St. Pete Pier, high tides 219 in the morning and four o'clock in the afternoon. Five day forecast, 20% the next several days. Chance of a shower, maybe a thunderstorm. And again, you can see those temperatures stay fairly consistent throughout the week. We don't really get a good push of cool air, kind of a, we call a zonal flow. It doesn't allow those fronts to come through here. So we'll stay that way. Uh, humidity will be here, of course. And these temps, yes, are above normal. Very we good. Knew that. You were wondering that. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. In sports tonight, the Bucks lose their starting quarterback, and the Rays will make an offer to Sweet Lou. J.P. Peterson has that story. And the Lightning lose Vinny, but keep their unbeaten streak alive. How about that? Highlights next in sports. The little guy does it again. Well, good times continue to roll on Wall Street. The Dow picked up 215 points to end at 85-38. NASDAQ up 21 to 1309, the S&P up 15 to 899, and JP is up next. 
What happened in the off season to this hockey team? I don't know. Maturity. I think what's happened with this hockey team is maturity. They've grown together. They've had some stability. They've added a couple of nice pieces to the puzzle, some veterans. And now the kids have learned to play. And wow, are they playing. And it's yeah. fun. The Bolts are off to the best start in team history. But a little bit of bad news today. Vinny LeCavalier will be out 10 to 14 days with a knee strain. And the Bolts trying to keep their unbeaten streak alive tonight against the star-studded fat payroll overrated Rangers. Let's go to Madison Square Garden for the highlights. They get it going early on in the first. Watch Ben Clymer from an unbelievable angle as he beats Dan Blackburn. That's a soft goal and the Bolts were up 1-0. They fall 2-1. Great play here. Hobby Bullen with the outlet to Boyle and then Marty St. Louis. Hobby Bullen gets an assist on that play. Boyle had three assists tonight. St. Louis had a couple of goals. That's his first and then watch this one right here. Vinny Prospel coming in on net. He's going to stay with with it, getting his own rebound and put it in. Bolts go on top 3 2. Here's the beautiful goal of the night, courtesy of Martin St. Louis. The pirouette in front and buries his own rebound. The Bolts win it 4 2. They're now 4 0 oh, 1. They visit Columbus on Wednesday, back home Friday night against the Capitals. Uh, the good thing is we have a lot of guys chipping in, you know, and uh, it makes it tough for other teams to key on certain players. Uh, and uh, that's the good things we got going right now. Uh, it's a good uh, unbeat streak. Of course, that was Marty St. Louis. All right, suddenly the Rays have found a pot of gold, and they hope Louis Pinella is at the end of the rainbow. Carter Gaddis of the Tampa Tribune broke the story on our 6 o'clock show. The Rays will offer Lou Pinella a multi-year deal worth over $3 million a season, we're told. Owner Vince Namoli and GM Chuck Lamar will meet with Pinella tomorrow, hoping to make the Tampa native their new manager. All right, the World Series getting the lowest TV ratings in history, despite Tim Salmon's dramatic two-run homer to win last night's Game 2. The series, of course, is tied at 1. The ratings are down, though. Game 3 in San Francisco tomorrow night. All right, Bucks coach John Gruden came out firing at today's press conference, declaring the Bucks are still a very good football team after Sunday's 20 to 10 loss to the Eagles, and certainly they are. It's no time to panic. And the next month, they have the reeling Carolina Panthers twice. The one in five Vikings come to town, and a bye week mixed in there. So the Bucks struggling offense could go scoreless and still be eight and two when they host the Packers November 24th. And judging from yesterday's performance, that could happen. The offensive line was manhandled at times. Pass protection, not good. The Eagles defense, certainly one of the best, but the Bucs didn't score an offensive touchdown for the third straight year in Philly. Now, Brad Jones Johnson broke his ribs early on in this game. He was ineffective most of the day. Rob Johnson looks to be the starter Sunday in Carolina, but don't count out the man they call Bull. It could be anywhere from one to two weeks. You know, uh, I think it's it's going to be a pain threshold type thing where, you know, how much can he take? And uh, he can take a lot now. So I'm not going to uh, paint a real bleak picture until uh, I see Brad Johnson on the practice field Wednesday, and Thursday, and Friday for myself. That's why they call Brad Bull. All right, Monday Night Football, Tony Dungy's culture getting uh, hammered by the Steelers 28 to 10. Tommy Maddox having a big game, the former arena and uh, XFL quarterback, 28 10 to score there. By the way, Brett Favre will play in his next game. He's going to be okay. And Chris Carter is coming out of retirement to play with the Dolphins. The future Hall of Famer leaves HBO to sign with the depleted Miami Dolphin receiving core. The co anchor at HBO, Dan Marino, talked Carter into coming back. And Oklahoma and Miami on top of the new BCS standings. Okay, thank you. Back shortly. Call Karen and Nissan. Tonight's cash three numbers 017, play four, eight four, nine seven, and fantasy five, one four, ten, fourteen, and twenty six. That's it for this edition of News Channel 8. Thank you for being with us. We hope to see you back here again tomorrow. Good night, everybody. All stations cover crime. But only News Channel 8 tracks it. 8 on your side, Crime Tracker reports with Keith Kate, covering crime in a way that matters to you. The difference is this. It's not about showing you random crimes. It's about spotting patterns, offering warnings, using current information to show you where crimes might happen next. It could keep you from becoming a victim. Coverage that matters. 8 on your side, Crime Tracker reports on News Channel 8. On your side.